Hello, and welcome to this short overview of Sage CRM, a browser-based CRM solution from Sage. I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you a few of the features of Sage CRM, including how you can integrate into Sage 50 and give a complete view of your customer from prospect to invoice. Sage CRM is supported on all major browsers and is accessed by entering in your username and password. Once into Sage CRM, you are immediately presented with a dashboard showing you a quick overview of your business. Dashboards can be modified to show you information specifically related to you and you can have multiple dashboards to access. Also from within this section, you can access your calendar, leads, opportunities, or even support cases assigned to you. You can also see the same information, but grouped together by team. For example, the sales team's total opportunities. From this screen, you can search for existing records such as company Enter in some search criteria and see the resulting records. You can also jump straight to your favourite or recently accessed records. When you make a selection, you are shown a summary of the record and have the option to view additional information, such as notes, communications and any documents stored against it. Also, based on the record type, you have access to further information. In this example, I am looking at a company record and have access to additional information related to the company such as people, addresses, or any quotes and orders. I can add new records against the company by clicking on the green New icon and selecting the type of record I want to add. In this example, I will add a new person called John Kingsbury. All I need to do is click Add, type in the first and last name, and supply any additional information required. Fields marked with a blue asterisk are required before the record can be saved, these can be turned on or off based on your requirements as a business. Quotes and orders can also be raised from within CRM by selecting Add New Quote. Once the quote header details have been entered, you can add whatever items you require. These can either be products from Sage 50, free text items or comment lines. In this example, I'm adding a new Sage 50 product to the order. I can see the selling price and also the current stock levels of the product. I am now adding a free text product line, in this example for the delivery charge, and can specify the price required. You can also add comments to the quote by specifying the line you want the comment to be added into and the comment itself. After you have created the quote with the required items, you can either create a Word or PDF document of the quote, or send these straight out to the customer, all from within the CRM system. If a quote becomes an order, you can simply convert the quote to an order in Sage CRM. Select the Sage 50 company you wish to post the order to, and then select the Post to Accounts option. This will display some overview details of the Sage 50 customer, and if all looks good, you can post the order immediately into Sage 50. Additionally, the integration into Sage 50 allows customers to be created from Sage CRM, update products and prices from Sage 50 as they are added or updated, and allows users, when they have the appropriate rights, to view various live information from Sage 50, such as order and invoice statuses. I hope that you have enjoyed this brief overview. There is a lot more that Sage CRM can do that has not been covered in this demonstration. If you would like to see further information about the product, or would like to discuss how Sage CRM can work for you as a business, please contact us from our website www.cumulus-solutions.com or email us via info at cumulus-solutions.com.